Hi, I'm Tom with Everything e Bike. Today we're going to assemble a Velotric Nomad 1 Fat Tire e Bike. Thank you for coming. Let's get going. The bike comes with all the tools necessary to assemble. The only thing that I recommend is placing a nice soft blanket on the floor so you don't scratch your bike and have a pair of wire cutters or a pair of scissors so that you can cut the cable ties for the packing on the bike. We'll, op we'll open the package up. Once you open the box, this is what you find inside. Extremely well packed. So the first step is to unpack this box. Um, this is a 72 pound bike and I don't think I'm going to be able to lift 72 pounds above a four foot box to clear it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the front away and then I'll be back to show you how it looks. So with the front of the box cut away, this is all what we have. Um, there's packing that has to be removed. There. Very nice bag too. Well done. So at this point, we remove all the packaging. The loose parts and take off the cable ties. Head and, and let's pull out our tool. Here's our tool kit that comes with it. Here's an unboxing of the tool kit. It looks like it comes with a nice quick start guide, which you should read. Tells you everything you need to know, tells you everything you need to know to get going. This looks like the seat post, tool bag, the charger, pedals, rear reflector, front reflector. Um, this looks to be the control panel. Part of the controller, I'm assuming. We get to that, uh, the bell, and some hardware. Otherwise, it's a nice complete kit. Um, those look pretty good. This is our tool bag here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is our tool bag. In it, we have a spanner, screwdriver, nice tool, Phillips, Phillips, and standard, nice tool. Also comes with Allen key. Comes with several Allen keys. Hex wrenches. You'd rather call them that. And another spin on her. It's like a 10 millimeter. Also comes with a little wrench. This little wrench can be used like a socket. Has two different size openings on each end. And a couple more hex key 
matches. So full set. So there's your tool set. Very nice. Very complete. Okay, let's keep going. battery charger will show red while the battery is charging. Once the battery reaches full charge, the charger light will turn green. Our first step is to install the kickstand. The two bolts that, they, that hold the kickstand on are install already installed. The you just have to loosen them up and again, using we're gonna use M5 the hex M5 key. hex nut. I'm sorry. Simply loosen the bolts. We're going to install the handlebars and we're going to remove these four bolts using an M4 hex nut. Hex wrench. Excuse me. Install the kickstand so that it folds down. It's also height adjustable, but right now we'll leave it at the standard height. Simply place it there, install your two screws, tighten them with the Allen wrench, Tighten them up a little so they're nice and snug. And your kickstand is installed. From the factory, the handlebars come with the headset pointed backwards. So we're going to have to loosen these screws now with the bracket on the headset off and turn them forward. We'll simply put again, the we're handlebars use in place. The M5. Line them up Hex in that area. Put the bracket back on. You start your screws. Bring it around to the front. Get it close right now. You can square it up later once we get the tire on. And then just kind of tighten those up just a little bit. Okay. We're going to install the handlebars and we're going to remove these four bolts using an M4 hex nut. Hex wrench. Excuse me.
Now with the bracket off, we'll simply put the handlebars in place, line them up in that area, put the bracket back on, start your screws. Okay, get one more started. Now the electric makes this very easy. There's a siding glass right here. And hopefully you can see that. Here we go, right there. So you basically put it in place. Center it up, and then tighten your bolt. And the handlebars are on, nice and centered. You can remove the padding. Get one more started. At this point, remove the disc spacer pad and the bracket in the bottom of the floor so we can install the wheel. Now the electric makes this very easy. There's a siding glass right here. Loosen the nuts on the wheel and hopefully you can see that. Move the washer out to where the nuts are. Here we go, right there. So that we can slip this so onto the floor. Put it in place. You don't want the up. disc brake on the right hand side so that it lines up and with the other disc bolts. brake. And so then we're going to raise the fork. And get the disc brake into the disc area. Make sure your fork's lining up. It's pretty good. It's nice and loose, so you can get the forks down into it. There we go. We got these in. Now we'll simply tighten the forks with the socket wrench. And the handlebars are on, nice and centered. You can remove the padding. You tighten the other side, exactly the same. Lift your tire up, see that your brakes spin freely. Not too bad. So that's the front wheel. So now we're just going to simply tighten up the handlebars now that the wheel is on and have it in straight line. Now we want so to install the right. handlebars. To use your Again, M5 we're going to use uh, the M5 the two hex bolts nut on each side. I'm sorry. With the handlebar stem. 
And then a quick tighten of the bolt on top of this stem just to make sure. And it's nice and snug. So now you can take your handlebars. We're going to install the handlebars. Sure and we're going to remove these four things, and the things holding in bolts. That's good. Using the bars are installed for hex nut. The next thing we'll move on to is hex installing. Wrench. Excuse me. The next thing that the next thing that we'll move on to is installing the fender. First, remove the, the fender nut and bolt using a number ten wrench and a number five hex key. And you're just going to loosen those off to get complete it off. little fiddly but not too bad now we will take the fender We'll bring it up underneath the fork right there on top of the wheel. We'll install the bolt. But I happen to know that a headlight goes right on here. And I'll put it on right behind there. I'll install a washer. Now with the bracket on the nut. You know what this we'll tight put the handlebars just in enough place. to hold it on right now. Because we're going to do some that adjustments area. in a moment. Okay, now so we're going to attach the fender to the fork. We're going to take these screws, put them through the axle Start fender, your screws. and screw them into the fork. Get them started. Tighten them up just to make sure they stay on one. Okay, you do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Good one more started. Then just tighten up. Now the electric okay. makes this very easy. Now we got siding glass right here on that wave. Now we got to concentrate. Yeah, hopefully, you our can attention see that. at the top of the fender. At the top of this fender, there we go. Right we're going to get the light straightened out. So you make sure the finger is about at the right height. Center it up. It's like it should be up like this. And then we're going to kind of tighten this up. Bolt. Using number five and the uh, number ten wrench. Chop <laughs> in. So now to plug in the light, we have a red connector coming off the light, going to another red connector from the console. They have a little pin that lines them up, and then they simply plug in and screw together like that. So now your light's connect. And the handlebars are on, nice and complete. centered. You can remove the the next pattern. step is to install the pedals. They're marked right. And the pedals marked right as well. Even shows you the direction that you're going to tighten. Because on the other side you're going to tighten in a reverse direction. So you're going to start these off by hand. They give you a wrench to do the tightening. We'll do the same thing on the left side. 
It's just we'll reverse the actual direction that we screw it in. And we'll tighten that up. And now the pedals are installed. The next step is to install the display um, using uh, the display and uh, M.2.5 wrench. These simply open up and go around the handlebars. Sorry. Just go around the handlebars like that. And there are two screws that go on the backhand side here. Getting those screws in. So that's attaching it to the main handlebar and then it has adjustments where you can adjust the tilt angle up there as well. So And then it can tilt. And it has kind of notches where it, where it stops. So it holds in a place. You can tighten those. And that uses that same 2.5 uh, hex wrench. And get that attached like that. So the display has two cables coming from it. One's green, one's blue. And the blue one mates with the blue one right here. They have a little notch at the top that they go together with. And these are just pressed together like that. And then there's a green one and it goes with the green connector right here. And again, you line those pins up and this is again a press together. So that now hooks that up. Okay, now we're going to install the bell. Yes, it comes with a little bell. We just simply put it around the handlebar. The left hand side. Plastic. This will go so. And then we'll go ahead and start the screw. Okay, all the tools necessary to build this bike came with it. That's that's very nice. Not bad. Nice little bell. Now I've already adjusted the seat to the height I wanted using the um, quick release adjustment. Where you just flip that open, adjust it to the height you want, and then clamp it back down. For the rear light installation, we're going to install it on the seat tube. We simply place this ring around here. 
put the light with the bolt through the other side. Good side. Back down. Get at the height you like. Move that right there. Angle. Swing back to Crestlin. Straight. We're licensed to alt. You can pull this little film and that lets the battery come on. And there's a button on top to turn the light on with. So the last step is to install the front reflector on the handlebars. We simply put it over the bars, put our screw in, and tighten it down. So that was the assembly of the Nomad One. Went pretty well. All the tools were included. It was really pretty easy to do. Um, the only thing left to do is to air up the tires. They take around 30 pounds of air. And uh, I've already installed the battery. Battery's fully charged. And uh, at that point, uh, I'm going to go ahead and air up the tires. Normally when I air up the tires, I take it out to the garage and use a full air compressor. It's a little easier than a bicycle pump. But a friend recommended a device to me that has worked very well. And it happens to be a laser set tire inflator. It is handheld. Um, you charge it up. It has a battery in it. Handheld. Uh, you set the pressure you want on it. And it inflates to that and turns automatically off. So I'm going to fight these up to 30 pounds. Oh, by the way, I will leave a link to this air compressor in the comments below. Um, if you decide you'd like one, you can get it on Amazon. If you use our link, it helps us out a little bit. Thank you. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and air up to 30 pounds. To take off the cap. Screwing the inflator in line. Here is here is a look at this handheld inflator. When you turn it on, you're able to set the actual uh, pressure to different levels, 31, 32. But we're going for 30 for this one. It says there's seven pounds currently in the tire. Then you just hit the on button. So at this point, everything is assembled. The bike's ready to go. It looks really nice. It's nice big wheels. Uh, we'll go ahead and take this off the display. It's time to refresh. So let's go ahead and turn it on. You turn it on using this top button. There's our display. Shows our battery weapon, 100%, 0.1 mile. I actually spun the motor a little earlier. Um, pedal assist zero. You change the pedal assist using the controls up and down. So you can go to pedal assist one, two, three, four, five. 
Zero is no assist. So if you want to see if you can pedal a 73 pound bike, it's a good test. And then there's a throttle assist as well. Um, and then there is the actual eight speed shifter up and down levers. Very nice. Hydraulic brakes. So at this point, that is the assembly of the Lotric Nomad 1. Beautiful bike. Can't wait to give it a try. So if you liked or enjoyed the content you've seen today, please like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.